Praxis and Phylax are dead. We must retaliate! Atrax. Critis and I can handle this. Return to the crypt and prepare the body. Aramis, we must take pause. These powers are not what we expected. I too am impatient, but there is wisdom in caution. The destruction they crave. What is up, my Squirtle Lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Destiny. In the last episode, we took down the Technocrat, leaving just one of Aramis's council members left. But we returned here to Beyond because we were supposed to. Well, I guess, see what's going on in here. Oh, Zavala! That is not what I was but, expecting. I don't even know where to begin. It seems every day I know less and less. But that's not why I came here. The Vanguard has been watching Aramis, and I have important intel for you. You've clearly disrupted Aramis's plans. Vanguard scouts report that she's fled to the Cosmodrome. Perhaps to loot the remains of the old House Devil's hideouts. Her plan is unclear, but I believe she's getting desperate. Go to Earth. Find out what her next move is. And Guardian, I understand what you're doing. Fighting fire with fire. But the darkness is not our friend. The darkness caused the collapse. By all accounts, it seeks to cause another. Don't let it lead you away from the light. The city needs you. I need you. For now, do what you must for the good of humanity. But don't lose sight of who you are. You know, I figured he'd be more pissed off about that, but okay. So, next step, we need to speak to Shah Han in the steps, which... That's a little shocking, but okay. So we're going to be heading on over to the Cosmodrome. Now, it's worth mentioning at this point in time that the Cosmodrome was brought back with the release of Beyond Light. Um, I mean, I guess it was technically a little bit before that, but this is when it was made a true part of the Destiny experience. So this is kind of the only time that the Cosmodrome actually gets integrated into the story, at least the first time it does. And... Uh, we're going to be actually going over the Cosmodrome a little bit later on just because it was released in year four. Some of the the extent of stuff that I didn't cover in the beginning videos, the introduction videos, the how you get started with Destiny videos. So uh, let's head on down here and let's give it uh, give him a hello. What's up, Shaw? Report. Nothing. Okay. He doesn't even have dialogue for this. These fallen are now to keep us on our toes. Shaw tells you that Aramis has been trying to recruit her old comrades from the former, former House of Devils for a while. For her to arrive in person now must mean she's growing desperate. Word is she brought along a trusted sergeant, Bacris the Adamantine, and empowered her with stasis as a demonstration of the forces at her disposal. Shaw suspects the sergeant has remained in the Cosmodrome in order to ensure the Devils follow through on their pledge to relocate Europa. Locate Bacris the Adamantine and scatter the Devils before they leave for Europa. Defeat fallen in the Cosmodrome and the Divide. All right. Well, since we're here, we might as well grab these. So let's head off to the Divide and see if we can't track the guy down. So let's go. And I'm actually going to switch weapons here just so that I actually have something kinetic. Um, I did, as you can see here, I did actually get my hands on a, uh, a sniper rifle finally. I was able to finally finish that quest. 
uh, on the moon that actually gave me tranquility. It took me way too long to actually do that. I, between episodes, I actually spent quite a bit of time working on various non-story related stuff, like completing Vanguard Strikes, going after a couple of pinnacles and the like. So it's worth some. Uh, it's worth mentioning just because you're going to probably see that I have some new. Uh, weapons, my power level is a little bit higher, and I mean, it really only took me an hour to get to where I'm at and grab what I'm what I've grabbed, but it is still worth talking about so that all of the discrepancies can be uh, accounted for. I could take all of you out if I could land my hand cannon shots. That would be awesome. And I don't actually have the I don't actually have this active, but I'm gonna actually take off protective light for a moment and put our hand cannon loader on just so that it reloads a little bit faster for the time being. I don't need protective light that badly. So, let's head on into the divide and see what we can find. We got a lot of fallen around here that we can go after and kill. So, grab some loot and then off we go. It's kind of funny, the House of Devils just has spent all this time really not doing a whole lot. They've been extremely stagnant Basically since, um, basically since the end of the Rise of Iron campaign, they're just kind of hanging out here, not really being all that productive other than just being, you know, cannon fodder for the frickin' new lights, which, I mean, more power to them, but I, I you have to imagine that they're feeling a little bit, I mean, they get, granted, they have no hierarchy, they have no structure, so it is just a bunch of these basic guys here. Where is... I don't even know where this is. Is he, like, down... Where? Oh, my gosh. They were probably, like, on the other side of that door still. Okay. We've almost got all the house salvation intel we need. I think that's... Is that three or is that four? I honestly don't know. But I'm going to head on over this way. Oh, there, there's a few over there. Maybe that will get me some. Nope. There we go. Okay, one more. I'm almost certain it's one more. And track these guys down. I know there's a few marauders that like to hang out back here. We've almost got them all. Where are the rest of them? I want to take away from this guy here. There we go. I got some over this way. Take all them out. I can use my pulse rifle here to make this a little easier for me. I do need to be getting kills of other elements anyway. And it is not giving me the intel for this. At all. There we go, finally. All right. Eliminate Backers, the Adamantine, and scatter the Devils in the Exodus Garden to a Lost Sector in the Divide. So let's head on in there next. You know what's funny about this? So, Backers actually is a character that has an exotic named after him, the Mask of Backers, which is a really cool stasis exotic. Uh, basically turns your dodge into like a shift where you just teleport in place, essentially. Very good for PvP. It's kind of meh for PvE. Um, but it's, it's a really cool exotic. Every time I have done a solo run of this Lost Sector, I've gotten that exotic. I have never not... Well, I shouldn't say every time. I should say every time I get an actual reward, I only get that piece. And I don't think that's intentional. I'm sure that's not. But that's just how it turns out. It's really strange. We track them to an old factory. not allow them to reach Europa. We're on it. Don't worry, Varix. We got this. If only I could get more rocket launcher shots, that would be great. Okay, you need to put that away. I'm actually going to get a finisher here. And let's try a little bit of solar grenade damage. I haven't been using my abilities all that much, honestly. I could definitely stand to do that, as I was not expecting you. Go away. How is that not a headshot? I honestly don't know. That felt like it was a perfectly placed knife. If I could be completely honest. Okay, is that all of the void kills I need? Let me actually check my bounties here really quickly as I continue to work on those. So power weapons, hive, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, I got all the void I need. I'm going to focus on solar and arc now. Although, uh, yeah, let's use the shotgun. Why not? I need to get special ammo though. So let's keep going. I'm just going to kind of go on past all of you. Let's see if I can lure everyone in here. Get a few kills with those. A few more right there. Perfect. Some grenades. Kill you with that. 
thought I got you as well, but apparently one of them just kind of vanished on me. There we go. Okay, and I know exactly what I'm saving my super for here. So let's do this. Woo, there we go. Wow, and we even got an ignition off of that. Apparently incandescent was just so unbelievably potent there that it all kind of chained together. Perfect. All right, let's keep going. And once we head on in here, we are going to have three servitors, two small ones and a big one. But as soon as we go in, we got stasis. So let's use stasis here as fast as we can. I'm going to shatter you, kill you. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, break it. There we go. I cannot wait until I get the freaking... There's, there's, there's a thing that allows you to break those crystals a lot more easily with uh, kinetic weapons, but we don't actually have access to that yet, unfortunately. Oh, hello, Bacchus! How are you doing? Oh, that's just unfortunate. All right, let's kill this guy, too. I think the servitor is dead. There we go. And now that I'm re-empowered, we're going to hit him with that. Come on. There we go. That's what I like to see. Now we need to complete the Glassway Strike, which we are going to have to select from the map. We are going to probably be doing that in the next episode. I'm just going to work on these bounties for a moment. Aramis was planning on flooding Europa with spider tanks. We've dealt with the ones in charge. Yes, our comms buzz with chatter. Word of your success has already reached Europa. Aramis is most unpleased. She intends to react with another set of reinforcements. The Vex. The Vex? How? Europa holds yet another dark secret. A portal built by Clovis Bray, leading directly to the Vex. Aramis intends to activate it. To be stopped. We're on our way. We'll be going that way in the next episode. I'm going to finish off this episode by just taking down a whole bunch of stuff uh, with it just in the area, working on these bounties really quickly before we call it here because I might as well kind of demonstrate a few of the things we've done here because I was going to save a few of the stuff that we've already done in this video for the actual uh, Cosmodrome themed uh, episode, but I mean, there's really no point now. As I'm just going to kind of wipe the floor with everything around here. I do need to get more arc kills as well. Now there is a chest there, so we're going to grab that really quickly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head... If I can kill all of these guys. There's actually an area I want to head over to that is kind of at the beginning of the game. Or at least at the beginning... Well, I guess it was technically at the beginning of this game if you start a brand new character in uh, Destiny 2, but it is obviously originally from Destiny 1, so we're going to head on over that way to end this episode as I continue to focus on these bounties. Let's let's go take a look at what we have here. So we need Hive Combatants, Super Damage, that's pretty easy, uh, Public Events, which I'm probably not going to do on screen, Arc, and then more Ability Kills, which is kind of going to go hand in hand with the Super Kills. I just need to get the rest of my Arc Kills and I will be golden here. Not a super hard thing to do. How did you get out of the way of that? You suck. But I'm just going to finish out the last of these, turn them around, uh, turn them in, excuse me, and uh, then we're going to call it an episode. So we can at least see a little bit about how this whole place has kind of changed up a little bit here. It's not a ton. It's not super noticeable. And I'm using rocket launchers to kill the most menial of enemies. There we go. Full spectrum is done. That's what I was looking for. I don't know where this other enemy is. There you are. Come here. Thank you. He hit a throw grenade in there. Oh, don't run away, you jerk. I was expecting you to come over this way, and you didn't. Well, fine. Get that incandescent going. How did that not trigger on you? Goodness me. Now, if I can... And there it is. Change of plans. I decided to wheel back around and actually get this done. And now we have all of our Cosmodrome bounties done. And turn all these in. Also somehow got a challenge done in the middle of all that. So let's get that turned in as well. 
get ourselves another little bump. And guys, with that, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Destiny. Thank you all so very much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Glassway Strike. I will see you all in the next one.